I am Karina Smigla Bobinski and I am artist living uh, in France and working on the field of digital and analog art and also on the proprioceptive art. And already for many years I am working with scientists because I am interested in all the background behind the magic of visual art. I am exhibiting here in the museum of the National Museum uh, for Science and Technology here in Milan uh, my work Kaleidoscope which is as you can see a large um, light box with three inks on it it is cyan magenta and yellow and in the background it is a projection of RGB of red green and blue and this work is all about the magic behind our perception of color and the magic of what our, what our brains make out of this information. So our eyes have only three cones, right? We can perceive red, green and blue. Yeah, but what about yellow? What about cyan and magenta? What you can see here? How we can see it when we cannot perceive it with our eyes? So imagine when the light watches our electromagnetic waves, right? And the electromagnetic waves are very much big spectrum more than this what we can see. This is only like a very small part of the electromagnetic wave we can perceive with our eyes. There are gamma waves and there are very huge radio waves, right? And um, so when one wave is coming to our eyes and we have the three receptors, but this wave it's not red and not Cian. So our brain are like asking, so what is this then? Which color it is? And just let us imagine which color? Magenta. <laughs> so, um, so the color magenta, yellow and cyan are totally produced by our brain that doesn't exist for us or we are not able to see them, to perceive them from the outside with our eyes. But then the magic is when I use the totally virtual colors and I put them here on the, on the light box and you as the visitors, you can move all these three layers of the ink, cyan, magenta and yellow and by overlapping and filtering the light from above, you can see red, green, and blue. And these are, I call them real colors, because they are colors our eyes can perceive. So what's about the idea that the virtual world in our brain produced the real world? So, and then the magic from the light box is cut by a camera then the color will be uh, totally co coded in a zero and one manner, and then retranslated again into RGB to be projected on the wall behind me. And then the magic starts again, because the red, green, and blue, okay, it's the color we can perceive but how we can see magenta, yellow, and uh, cyan <laughs> again? Yeah, because of our brain. And so, you know, the perceiving between the virtual and the real perception of color starts again. outside of the black box of our body is to, oh, yeah, is to just look not only through our eyes and our understanding what happens outside, but also to take a look through the uh, 
eyes of the different people with different understanding and focus on the reality, you know, because I see the world totally different as you. And this is nice to get the opportunity to see the, I love to see the world from your perspective, you know, and then by that, by viewing through many eyes and through many perspectives, like in a cubic manner, I, I get near to the reality, I think. So that's why I am working and love technology and art and science being together. <laughs> and the visitors, don't forget the visitors. <laughs> yeah, because they play a very important role in my art. And you know, the visitors who visited my installation uh, play a very important role, as I say. So, um, the place where I exhibit, I also, I love to, to exhibit in places, let us say that way, where I already have the environment where the visitors, the artists and the scientists or the science meet together, you know. So this is like the whole cosmos we get and uh, out of this, you know, it's only be something wonderful. For me, I learned a lot in being exhibited here, you know, because you have to visit this place. You know, this is one of the rarest places I exhibited where really you get wonderfully prepared information behind the color. You have to go outside of the space and look how much information you can get about this. And also about uh, different fields, you know, like next to the room, it's like Jakalum, what I was, uh, is involved in a concept of my other artwork. So walking through this museum for me, it's like walking through my brain. You know? <laughs> so, and I am really happy to be here. Yeah, and happy that such a place exists. Yeah. It's, it's the future. Abbiamo scelto Kaleidoscope come parte di un lavoro che stiamo facendo praticamente dal 2020 quando abbiamo cominciato a capire e a voler introdurre nel nostro lavoro educativo nuovi linguaggi e nuovi modi per esperire la scienza e la tecnologia. Quindi vogliamo promuovere l'emozione, l'interazione, eh, l'espressione personale e in questo modo abbiamo, stiamo cercando degli artisti e delle artiste, in questo caso abbiamo trovato e siamo felicissimi Karina Smigla Bobinski, che ci permettono di creare questo tipo di esperienze con le persone. È un lavoro eh, che eh, unisce scienza, tecnologia e arte, unisce i, digitali, i linguaggi digitali e analogici e, e ci permette di aprire nuove strade e di offrire nuove prospettive attraverso le quali costruire un rapporto positivo, memorabile, duraturo fra le persone e scienze e tecnologia.